friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, and today I will be showing you my 10 minute transformational makeup. This is the easy makeup that I do almost every single day of the week, maybe on a weekend when I really don't want a made up look at all. I'll do something a little less intense than this, but mostly this is the makeup that I use on an ongoing basis. And in terms of my channel, when I'm doing videos about anything except makeup, this is pretty much my go-to makeup because it is easy and I think it looks good, especially for us more mature beauties, I would have to say. And the neat thing is I was going to just send you an announcement about the BK Beauty brush sale. And this is their fourth anniversary brush sale. Here's a look at their website and there's a look at their creator, Lisa J. She's absolutely a lovely human being and she has had great success with her brushes. And the reason that she's been so successful is because these brushes that she offers, the BK Beauty brushes are game changers. The minute I started to use them and I've used them for the past four years, it was like it upped the look of my makeup. There is something about all of her brushes that they lay down color in a beautiful way, but they absolutely blend everything so seamlessly, just like a makeup artist. And actually Lisa J in her background was a makeup artist. So the brushes that she created are totally with that in mind of giving us a quick and easy, but professional looking makeup. And I think it's just wonderful. And during the sale, which is today through August 8th of 2023, you can get 20% off site wide. And the neat thing is that she has a lot of different brush sets bundled, including my favorite brush set, which is the Angie brush set. Angie of Hot and Flashy developed this brush set in cooperation with BK Beauty Brushes. And it is an absolutely wonderful set and it is already discounted because it is part of a bundle. But during the sale, not only do you get that bundle discounted price, you also can add 20% off on top of that and you don't have to have a discount code for the sale. Basically, you just follow my links below the video and once you put your brush set in the cart, the 20% off will be calculated automatically. And in the case of that Angie brush set, for instance, it's normally $130. The bundled price is $125. And with the discount, the 20% discount, it is only $100, which is quite the savings. And before I get into showing you these brushes in action in my everyday makeup here, I did want to show you the outfit that I'm wearing today. All of the jewelry and the shoes and the jeans are from Amazon. But the top is from Thread Up, and Thread Up is a wonderful secondhand store online where you can get beautiful high end and designer clothing at great discounts. And if you've never shopped Thread Up before and you use my link below the video, you get 40% off your first order plus free shipping. And that is a wonderful way to try out the Thread Up service, which I think is just wonderful. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, I hope you'll click that bell and subscribe. It's totally free. We would love to have you as a member of the 50 plus beauty family. And I will say this video is not sponsored by BK Beauty Brushes. They're not sending me anything to do this video, but I did want to let you know about the sale. And I also wanted to show you how I create my everyday makeup. Okay, now let's get down to this. And I will tell you that I already have my brows done and I use two things on my brows. And the first one I've used for over a year, I love it. It's the Revlon Colorstay Brow Pencil in the color blonde. Very good blonde color there. And then I use the NYX Control Freak Styling Gel on my brows to keep them nice and lifted up. It's not perfect, but it does do a pretty good job and I think it's around $5. Okay, before I get into doing all of my makeup, I always take a little bit of the City Beauty Lip Gloss. This is their clear lip gloss and I put it on my lips because I leave it on there the whole time I'm doing my makeup for maybe about 10 minutes and I let it soak in because look at my lips now. And by the time I apply my lipstick, I will basically end up wiping this off in 10 minutes, but it does give you a wonderful plumping effect, which I really like. And it smooths out the lines, the fine lines around your lips and the lip wrinkles, which is just great. Okay, let's get into eye makeup first. I always start with eye makeup first. In terms of my eyelids, I have very oily lids. And if I don't use an eyeshadow primer, my, my eyeshadow just doesn't show up really after about the first hour, it starts to fade. And then by three or four or five hours in, around the noon hour, you can hardly see my eyeshadow. And I was using this Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, either the anti-aging or the regular, and this is like $25 and I have found a wonderful dupe for that, which I really, really love. And it is the CoverGirl Lid Lockup, and I've just been using it for maybe about four days. But one of my lovely viewers mentioned it. You just put it on like this, 
and it goes on a little bit beigey, which I like because I tend to have red eyelids, discolored eyelids. And you just put that on there. And then I'm using this BK Beauty brush. And this is the, oh, I can't even see. It's the concealer brush. And I really love, I really love this brush. It's also called the, the kitten brush because they say it's like a kitten paw. But I just rub that primer in and this primer is amazing. If you'd like to see a video about the wearing of your eyeshadow using this primer, I have never seen anything like it. In fact, I think that would make a great video. Let me know in the comment section if you'd really like to see a wear test on this, you know, how it handles eyeshadow versus the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I think that's what that's called. Okay, there we go. And I just let that dry up just for a minute, maybe even pat it a little bit. And the trick to this is, because it does really lock your eyeshadow in place, is to smooth it out afterwards. Okay, I have been using the Morphe Truth or Dare palette. Actually, it's Truth or Bear palette. Okay, I'll be using the BK Beauty 208 brush, and I'll just go in here and take a little bit of this light color. And the trick to this lid lock, this CoverGirl lid lock, is to make sure and go over it with the powder afterwards. Otherwise, the minute you put your eyeshadow on, it locks it in place and you really can't blend very well. So I'm just going in and I'm getting a little bit of this, basically the under brow color, and I'm dragging it down clear over my entire lid. There we go. Just kind of smoothing things out there, especially in this inner corner where we have the black there. And I'll be giving you something to use on that to, to make it even better. But I have very dark discoloration in that area. Now let's go in and we'll use this as a little lid color. I still really like a little bit of shimmer on the inside eyelid. I would say from the inside corner to maybe a little bit past the halfway point, but isn't that pretty? I think even as we age, we do need a little bit of sparkle on our eyelids just to kind of brighten our eyes and make us look a little more awake, a little more special. And that was one thing I loved about the Natasha Denona palette is it had beautiful shimmers that were that were wearable. However, I did realize after having bought it twice that it was really a little bit too young of a palette for me overall. Maybe maybe at night I can I can get away with all that shimmer, but during the day I really couldn't. Okay, let's go in and do a little crease color. And I'm using one of the Angie Hot and Flashy brushes. This is the A502 crease. And I always like this color. You can tell I use it a lot. And always tap off your brush. We're just going to start in the outside corner here. And I like to pull it up because you really kind of want to give yourself that cat eye look. You know, I need to bring my mirror in a little closer. Okay, that's better. So we're just going to bring that in. Give yourself a little bit of darkness out at the outer corner. And then you're going to bring it in to make it like a V on the outside. And then you just go ahead and blend that in to the, to the inside there. I'm getting a little bit of fallout, but I'll take care of that in just a minute. And again, you're just going to make a little V on the out, outer corner there. And wherever you start your brush deposits the most color. And I really want the most color in that outside V area. So that's why I start here and pull it up a little bit. And again, don't worry if you're a little sloppy because I'll show you how to handle that. How to make it even look more defined out there. Okay, I just have a little Neutrogena makeup wipe here and look at that fallout. I'm going to go ahead and get that off of there. See, it just easily took that off. And then I'm going to sculpt the outside of this wing area because I really want it to look a little more defined there. See, that just gives you a nice little winged look. Turn this over. I'll do the under eye here. Then we're going to go over to the side and just pull it up. And it does just make everything look a little more precise there. Okay, next I'm going to go in and blend out the edges of this. And to do that, I'm using a larger blender brush. This is the Angie Hot and Flashy 503. And again, any set that is bundled, like the Angie set already has a discounted rate on it, which is great when you buy more than one brush if it's a bundled set. But the 20% off during this BK Beauty sale adds an additional 20% off on any of those bundled prices, so you can save up to 35% on the sale and if I were you I would get a set because these brushes are so beautiful once you start using them you'll hardly ever use another brush really it's pretty amazing just blend out the edges of all of that make it nice and soft 
Now next I'm going to be going in and doing a bit of liner around my eyes and I'm going to start out with this L'Oreal Smoldering Eyeliner in the waterline and this is a nice soft pencil. So look at my lash line there and you can see it's kind of light along there and this will make the whole lash area look darker and more defined. I'm going to rub that in the waterline area. I'll show you one and then the other because I think it really, really, really helps. The days that I forget to use this, I just look kind of sleepy with very small eyes. Okay, here is that waterline area. You can see the little line of the dark brown. And then here is the other line area, which you can see it just does not look like the lashes are as thick. So I'll go in and go ahead and do this waterline. Because right now I'm growing out the effects of having used lash extensions. And so I need to make my eyelashes look as thick as possible because they're really still growing in. They're not that thick yet. But I've been using Revitalash and I think it's really helping to grow my eyelashes. It's been about a month since I had my eyelash extensions removed and I basically had no lashes and now I think they look pretty normal, which is great. Okay, there, the waterline is all done. Next, I'm going to be going in with this pure on point eyeliner. This is a pencil, but it has a self sharpener in it, which is just great. And this is the on point eyeliner in the color down to earth, which is basically a brown. So there is that lovely tip and it, it constantly remakes that tip, which is just great. I start in the middle just because I want to give the eyeliner a little time to get a little more heat on it to melt a little bit to make it easier to stroke along the lash line. And then I just did a little wing on the outside there. Now I'm going to go ahead and sharpen this again. And you just do that by closing it and then opening it. And then you have the perfect tip again. I'll do the other side. You can use your fingernail to kind of point it out a little bit. Okay, the liner is finished. Now I'm going to go in and handle the eyelashes. <laughs> I say handle because they're not uh, that easy lately to deal with because they are not totally grown out again. But that Revital Lash is really helping. So I used my metal lash comb there to straighten them out and then a, a lash curler. And this is one of the best things you can do. And if you'll lift your elbow on the outside, you can really get a better curl. The lashes seem to hold their curl better and stay curled a little better. Once in a while I go twice. And I hold it maybe about a can of five. One, two, three, four, five. Again, lifting the elbow. Okay, the eyelashes are curled, but as you can see, they don't look very good. But recently I have discovered this Stila XXX Magnum Mascara. Maybe it's just Magnum Mascara. But I love the head on that. And I think it takes my non-existent looking eyelashes and really makes them look thicker. It is a wonderful, wonderful mascara. And that little bit of a wing on the outside does help your lashes look more full because it basically ends up making it look like you have a nice thick set of lashes out to the side or at least one or two or three, something like that. And I find that with my lack of lashes lately, it helps to scruffle the brush back and forth just to get some of those lashes to stick together just a bit. Clumps are kind of your friend when you don't have a lot of lashes and your lashes are not yet super thick. Okay, now it's time for foundation and I've been using this Benefit Professional in my kind of T-zone area because I do have some large pores in this area and I think it really does help to kind of blend them in. It doesn't get them to disappear, but it really does improve the look. So let me find, this is my BK Beauty 101 foundation brush. And I'll go ahead and spray this with a little all nighter setting spray. And I've used this for years, absolutely love it. I do three or four spritzes usually. And I kind of drag it a little bit onto the sides of my cheeks, you know, towards my nose. I have a lot of a lot of pores up in this area here. I don't know why that would be. I, I guess that's because that part of your skin is pretty oily. You can drag it out a little more. Just feather it out to the end there. 
some on the neck. Okay, and as you can see, I think it really already has given me a more matte, more even-toned look to my skin. And you really can't see what I'm seeing here in this mirror, but the pores that I had that were quite visible are really kind of blended in, which is just wonderful. Okay, now let's go into foundation. And I've been loving this Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Aging Perfecture Perfector in Light to Neutral 30. And I think it is a wonderful, almost like a CC cream or a BB cream. It goes on like skin. And Neutrogena really has beautiful foundations and they're very inexpensive. Like I'm sure that this one is $10 or less, which is just great. Okay, I'm looking around. There's my foundation brush. And I'll again go in with some Urban Decay setting spray, all nighter. <laughs> and then we'll just go ahead and buff this in. And this is the most fabulous brush ever, the BK Beauty 105. I started using this and all of a sudden my once kind of chunky looking makeup that didn't stay on very well and just looks streaky, it just became beautiful. This brush, if you get nothing else, this 105 brush is a great investment because it just makes you look like you have flawless, gorgeous skin. And it is like probably, I don't know, thousands of little tiny bristles in it. And they're soft like mink. It's amazing. Okay, there is that foundation, and I think it is absolutely lovely. Now we need to go in and do some under eye concealing. And the first thing I'm going to use is this little stick on the inside, and this is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Crayon Corrector. And I think it's light. I'll put the color below. But see how that just kind of toned down the black? There's black there. I'll do that here. See, it just kind of makes it, maybe not disappear, but it certainly makes it a lot less noticeable. Where is my kitten brush? Aha, there it is. Oh, it was hiding. I thought it can't disappear, I just used it. Okay, let's go ahead and go in with this Pixie by Petra Peach Corrector for the under eye area. And as you can see, I've got a little bit of a bag under the eye. I've got a little bit of a vein, a discoloration. Just take a little bit of this Peach Corrector. And again, the peach nulls out the black. It makes it look more skin colored, which is wonderful. There we go. It's blended pretty nicely. Okay, next I'm going to take my favorite concealer, which is the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear All Day Concealer, I think it is, in the color 110. And it is a slightly warm color, but it's beautiful. Great big doe foot. I have a vein here, so I'll stick that there. A little bit of discoloration down in here. I have black marks on the side of my nose here. Just go ahead and dab that on there. And then I have a divot in my chin. Whoa, I went the wrong way. <laughs> I tried to use my monitor down here. Oh well, close enough. And I'm going to go in with this. Uh, this is the BK Beauty Buffing Concealer Brush. And it has the kitten foot, which I think is really nice. Just go ahead and uh, smooth out that concealer there. And then get this here. I'm going to dab that in. It's amazing the last little things like the side of your nose, what a difference they really make when you when you get that accomplished. You know, when you remember to do that. And sometimes I don't. And I'll look in the mirror later and I'll think, why don't I look very good? And it's usually because I have not done the last little last little step on something like concealer, like getting down around my nose or my chin or that kind of thing. Smooth it out. Sometimes I think the the warmth of your fingers just helps kind of blend it in with the skin. And I love this concealer because it does not give you dry, dusty lines. It, it has enough moisture that it takes the lines you do have and it kind of adds some moisture to them, some color, some pigment, and it just smooths everything out beautifully. You really can't tell that I have the horrible crow's feet that I really do. Okay, so there is that. The next thing I'll do is I'll set it with some powder and lately I have not been using a loose setting powder. I have been using my favorite powder ever, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrushed Flawless Finish Powder. And I'll go ahead and open it up and show you that here. And I have a smaller version of this that I carry around in my purse. Let me find a brush here. Okay, I've got a big BK Beauty 104 brush, powder brush. And I'll just go ahead and set, lightly set, the concealered areas. Got a little shine going there. 
but I love this powder because it really does give you kind of an airbrushed flawless finish as it says. I have never seen a powder that really has a positive impact on my fine lines and wrinkles and really blends my skin in and, and makes my overall skin tone look more flawless, but it, but it truly does. It's wonderful. Okay, there we go. We have powder on. What's the next step? The next step is blush, and I love this blush. This is an iconic but yet very inexpensive blush. blush. It is the Milani Luminoso 105 Baked Blush. And look at that, absolutely a gorgeous peach color with a little bit of highlighter. Isn't that pretty? Absolutely love it. Now I'm going to go in with my Angie of Hot and Flashy Blush Brush. And I love this because see, it's got this kind of unusually shaped head on it. And what I do is I dip it in here, dip, dip, dip. And then I'll squeeze the brush like this and then go along the top of the cheekbone. And because as we get older, our skin falls, we don't want to apply blush down here. We need to make sure it's as high on our face, as high on our cheekbones as we can. Do the other side, just kind of tap that on there. And I'm squeezing the, uh, the fibers there. Then I'm going to go in and I'm just going to buff, 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 buff just really blend it into the skin to where it doesn't look like a big like a big big red ball on your cheeks you don't want that but look at that absolutely a beautiful very very natural shade it almost looks like you've just gone out into the cold and you've come in and it does not look overdone at all you almost can't apply too much of this which is just great because i have a tendency to go overboard sometimes okay there that is now next i'm going to go in with some contour and some highlighter and I've been loving this Charlotte Tilbury Nude Gasm Palette. There's the front of it. It's very cute. And as you can see, I have really done a number on the darkest color. And I try to kind of mix those two together, actually. But let me go ahead and find a little concealer brush. And I'll just go ahead and go back and forth there. Just kind of put that on the side of my face where you want it to narrow. Which that's where I want it to narrow because I have kind of big cheeks there. Okay, then I'll go ahead on the side of my nose here. A little bit along the chin, a little bit under the chin. Try to keep it reasonable, don't overdo there. And if you do overdo, this is one of the non-BK Beauty brushes I use, and I wish they'd come up with this. This is the sculpting brush from Real Techniques. And what I do is, as you can see, I've got a little brown chocolate bar there. And I just want to kind of blend that out. It just kind of helps blend any contour in. And I love this, and I've used it for a couple of years, really, because I used to really wear chocolate bars a lot, and now I don't do that nearly so badly because this helps blend in everything. Love that. Now let's go in with some highlighter, again from the same Charlotte Tilbury palette. And this is the BK Beauty 108 Highlighter Brush. And I'll take this cream color here, the champagne color, and I'll go about halfway down on my nose. I learned that from Wayne Goss to not really go all the way. I don't know what the reasoning behind that is, but it seems to work out okay. Then I'll take a little more and I'll go up here, underneath the eyes, underneath the eyes here. Then I'm going to go ahead with this blush color, with this peach one. And then I'm just going to, again, stay on the top, a little bit on the balls, but mostly on the top. And it just gives a little bit of a highlight there, which I think is just beautiful. Now, next we're going to go into lips and I have the City Beauty Lip Plumper on, but it has largely sunken in. And as you can see, I think my lips look a little more plump, but I'll just kind of pad that off there because I'm going to add some lip pencil. And this is one of my favorite lip pencils if I can only find it. It is the L'Oreal Color Riche Matte Lip Liner in the color Mastermind, Mastermind. And here I'm going to use this mirror to put this on. And I don't like a hugely thick line, really, very much, very often. I think it's aging as we get older because we have enough lines in our face without adding real definite lines. I do like the lip pencil, though, because it keeps the lipstick from bleeding into the little lines we all have around our lips. I think that is a beautiful, that Madsterind is just a beautiful, very neutral, your lips but better color. 
Okay, there is that Mastermind lip pencil. And if you only have one, this is a good one to have. Next, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Vinyl Ink Super Stay Lip Color in the color 35, 35 Cheeky is what it's called, which surprises me because it does not look like a cheek color. It looks like a, a very nude matte lip color. Here we go. I like it because it is a nude color, but it is a mid-tone nude. It's not one of those 1960s washed out nudes that just saps all the color from your face and makes you look dead. But I think that is a very, very pretty color. And I'm going to give that just a few moments to dry down and then I'll come back with some lip gloss. Okay, my lips have dried down a bit in the last maybe five, 10 seconds. They just feel tacky, but not super moist. And this vinyl ink color I love because it really does last all day. And here's another Maybelline lip gloss, and this is the Lifter Gloss in the color Crystal. And I'll go ahead and show you that, and this is about my favorite gloss, really. Just use it kind of in the middle, but look how pretty that looks. This color looks like it is terribly ugly and like it would not be good over about any lip color except a nude, but I use this Maybelline Lifter in Crystal over about any lip color that seems a little bit too strong or strident. I just think it nulls any color down and makes it look a little bit more like a nude and it gives you a beautiful sparkle. Well, thank you for being with me as I created this look for you. And if you have favorite makeup products, I would love you to list them in the comment section below the video because that way I can learn about them and hopefully share them with others on my channel, which is just wonderful. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And today the thought is just a little card I found online and here it is. It's from Mary Ann Williamson. She said, joy is what happens to us when we allow ourselves to recognize how good things really are. Joy is what happens to us when we allow ourselves to recognize how good things really are. And you all, that is so true. The other day I was having a morning where for whatever reason, I was just feeling kind of down in the dumps, just not feeling good about things. And I happened to realize that quote and I realized, I thought, oh my gosh, I have a very bad mental habit sometimes of not appreciating the things that I already have. And I particularly love this quote by Marianne Williamson because it reminds us that if we just take a moment and look around us and really appreciate everything we have going in our life, that that brings us joy. And when I started to do that that morning, it totally turned my whole attitude around. So friends, as we're both going through our days today, let's remember that as we're going through our day, all the activities every day, let's take a moment to pause and look around and appreciate all the good things we have in our lives. Because when we do that, we recognize how good things really are. And that is a joyful thought indeed. Take care and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.